we are here at week 12 in Cincinnati, Ohio, where head coach Zach Taylor, first-year head coach, as well as first-year quarterback Joe Burrow are looking to stop this defense in their tracks. Week 11 was the bye week where we took a second to look at the statistics in the NFL. And with that said, the Giants are top of the NFL in both offense and defense. And we're going to continue to our perfect win streak so far. Bengals and Joe Burrow, New York Giants, Daniel Jones, Week 12 action next. Week 12 action is underway as the kick is up into the end zone for Corey Ballantine, and he is going to take it out of the end zone. Maybe not the best decision, but up to the 22. As you can see here, here are the stats for Daniel Jones through the year, and he has 2,900 yards passing, 24 total touchdowns as far as 15 interceptions. We have seen this to start off most of our games. I formation, two wide receivers right. Man in motion, that is Golden Tate, the league receiver so far, the leader in the year. As you can see, a little bit of a delay, a stretch left play for Saquon Barkley, and Saquon Barkley goes all the way to the third and gets to the 39. First and 10, ace formation, tight end set to the right. Stick play, and that is going to be Evan Ingram, who's been sure-handed all year. And on third and two, we got an eye formation, and it is a straight handoff. Leading the block is going to be Elijah Perry, and it looks like Saquon's going to have enough to get it. First and ten, shotgun formation, a three-step drop back, and the edge rusher comes, and the edge rusher gets him. Who else but the savvy veteran Carlos Dunlap with a nine-yard loss on a sack. Ace formation again, play action this time for Daniel Jones over to the left. And Golden Tate cutting across, making another reception, patting the stats this year for a great year. Third and five, trip set left side, or excuse me, spreads left side, and that RPO for Golden Tate reception, and not going to get the first down. One yard gain, Dre, or sorry, Hayeri Alexander making the play. And let's look at the rookie, Joe Burrow, who has 18 touchdowns. Six interceptions and almost 2,500 yards on the year. Not bad for the rookie quarterback. Third and four, three, four defense against this I for, or excuse me, single bat formation. And over to the left side is going to be the tight end with a reception. That is going to be seven yards on the play. On second and three, we have a bunch right set. Ace formation, Joe Mixon in the background. Three step drop, and that is going to be Uzama for another reception and a first down. Five wide trips right, and it's going to be Joe Burrow finally taken down for the sack. We were wondering if this defense was going to get pressure, and Jabril Peppers making that first sack on the day. Third and 13, a little drop back, three-step drop, and just right down the middle is going to be Julian Love this time, but again, that's not good to see Marcus Golden down, and we'll have to see on his injury at the end of today. Little stretch play to the right side this time and making the defender miss at first. Getting a seven yard gain is going to be Saquon in this third and three. Little drop back, left side, little shallow route, drag route, whatever you want to call them. And that's going to be a first down catch for Evan Ingram. Empty back set, bunch formation, a little play action, or excuse me, not play action, a little bit of a um, fake little. Fake throw, and that is going to be tipped for incomplete. But over the middle, coming back to him, is going to be Evan Ingram. And we're going to hear his name all day, all year, all week. And just what a great player he has become. And we just said it again. Evan Ingram with another catch and another first down. Ace formation, eye formation, not ace. Eye formation, a little sweep to the left side. And that is going to be a walk-in with the pulling guard. Kick outside, nothing doing, not needed. He is going to walk in for another touchdown. He has surpassed the expectations of this year for this team. To see how this offense will look again coming back out. A little screen set up to the right side. Thinking that he was going to get him, not going to happen. Joe Mixon making James Bradbury look dumb. But that is going to be it for the quarter. 7-0 so far at Giants lead. 
first and ten. Looks like an ace formation. A little, oh, a little trickery, a little wide out sweep. And the sweep's going nowhere and around, whatever you want to call it. And A.J. Green is going to be taken down for a one-yard loss. Or, sorry, excuse me, a one-yard gain. But just like that, A.J. Green making them look stupid. DeAndre Baker, see you later. Eat my dust. Touchdown, Bengals. And again, 65-yarder right after the one-yard in the round. You had to think, how are they going to get him involved today? He is already making a name for us. And DeAndre Baker, I know you're young, son, but you got to be ready for that. Let's see if this offense can produce some more points to help this defense out. And one man miss and another man gets him. But my God, does Saquon know how to juke and jive. Over to the left side, a little slant route for Golden Tate. Once again, understand why he's the number one right now on this team. And it looks like a little shotgun, a little back. And they're going to try their try at this. Sterling Silver, Sterling Shepard, excuse me. Sterling Shepard over to the left side, not able to hold on to it. Play over to the left side, and Evan Ingram not going to get it. A little high for him, but wasn't going to get the first down regardless. And this is going to give this offense the ability or opportunity to take over. Joe Mixon right up to the left side, and that is going to be a flag on the play. Looks like holding on the offensive line. And it's going to bring him back to 2nd and 15. Joe Mixon offsets the left side. A little out route to the right. And that's going to be Uzuma again. Battle of the tight ends today. And another reception. 3rd and 9. Over to the left side. And that is going to be, I believe, Uzuma again with another reception. But not enough for the first down. Strong eye formation for Daniel Jones now. Back at it. And that's going to be a little RPO, and he decides to put the little screen route, smoke route, over to the left side in a gain of six. High formation, a little toss this time. Nothing doing on the right side. Carlos Dunlap, Florida native, is going to make it hell for this running back. One-on-one -on -one down the left seam, and nothing doing. That is going to be the safety keeping up with them, and it's going to bring out Dixon for the punt, who's going to push it all the way back and a big hit, and that is going to be a fumble recovery, and Bill drops and falls on a blade of grass before the end zone, but what a special teams play, and my goodness, immediately giving Sterling Shepard the ability to get another touchdown, adding the stats for Daniel Jones. You have to think, did Sterling Shepard maybe uh, pay off Sam Bill this week to not score that touchdown, but... Needless to say, I guess the incitement was a little too much. Anthony Cannizzaro is not able to get the PAT. Ace formation now for Joe Mixon, who's just now getting into the game and not able to do anything really. A three-yard gain. Shallow drag route for Tyler Boyd, and Tyler Boyd is going to get the first down. They are going to give it to him. I don't know. I think he might have been a little bit short, but, you know. It's not my job to question the refs out there. And this time now, it's going to be another catch down the middle. And that is going to be a first down game for the Bengals. Ace formation, two tight ends set left. little play action, but he is getting haunted down. And that is going to be Grant Haley, the Penn State player, out as our nickelback. And he is going to get the sack today. You will see... Blitzes and coverages that will try to confuse this rookie quarterback. And my goodness, the this defense is out to kill these guys. I mean, you had Jabril Peppers trying to take him out. There's a flag on the play. Joshua Garnett. That I mean, I would as a as a previous offensive lineman, if I was a running back, I would kill them, especially if I just took that hit. And again, these guys are out here playing hard. Nothing doing. Giving the ball back. Let's see if this offense can score before halftime. Five step drop back over to the left side. One on one coverage and nothing doing. Great coverage on the play against Sterling Shepard. Empty back set. Five step drop over the middle. And my goodness, he rocketed that in there. And that is going to be Sterling Shepard. First down catch. Again, same play over the middle. This time they were waiting on it. The safety says, hello, give me that and goodbye. And we are going to have to try to stop this team from scoring before halftime balance set ace formation two tight ends set right and joe mixon out of the backfield just a little stop route four yard gain 
very bunch set, that very tight shotgun set. And this is going to be Joe Burrow dropping back three steps over to the right side, and that is going to be Boyd for the first down. Man not seeing that they are in certain coverage, and they are going all around the area, just getting past Grant Haley, and it's going to be a reception for the wide receiver. Again, Joe Burrow dropping to the right side, coming as the defender gets there, hits the out route, and A.J. Green shows you why he is still a strong candidate as a wide receiver. Play action, got the got the middle linebacker, and that is over the top into the end zone. Bengals have the possibility of taking the lead right now. Don, Dontrell Emmon has had a great day so far. And we got the kicker out for the PAT, and the PAT is good. Given this Bengals offense and Bengals team a lead of one point going into halftime. Let's look at the stats so far. The Giants with 112 passing yards, 39 rushing yards. But let's look at this halftime report as we look at scores around the league. We go to Dallas, Texas, where the Washington football team is taking on the Dallas Cowboys, who had a commending lead. As their final, 24 to nothing. Prescott, 139, one touchdown. And it looks like Zeke got to eat with over 100 yards rushing. Buffalo, New York, as the Chargers are taking on the Bills. 17 to 7 at halftime. Herbert with two touchdowns. Eckler with 34 rushing yards and 31 receiving yards for Mike Williams. Going to Cincinnati, or excuse me, Indianapolis, Illinois. And the Colts are tied going into halftime. Phillip Rivers, 37 with one TD. Now let's take a look back at our game as the second half has begun. <clears throat> Two tight ends bounce set to the right side, and it looks like they were a little bit confused. The Blitz unable to get there, and Uzuma was able to get another reception. Looks like a goal line defense, one-on-one -on -one every across the board, and that is going to be A.J. Green, which looked like Blake Martinez trying to keep up with him, unable to do so, and hit as he is throwing. That is going to be Tyler Frackerel, who has been a great job this year, being a little bit overshadowed by uh, Marcus Golden. But again, this defensive front seven has been amazing, and this defensive back four have been great. But the front seven has been doing their jobs getting there. And just like I said, Marcus Golden, he had an injury earlier. He's back out, and it looks like it's not affecting him anymore. Get another sack for the year, and it is going to give us the ball back, able to try and have an opportunity of getting the lead. Just a quick handoff of five yards for Saquon Barkley. Tight end set right, running back set left, a stick play, and this is going to be Evan Ingram and again. He's had an amazing day so far, and another first down catch. <clears throat> a little bit of uh, audibles going down throughout the field. Over to the left side, one-on-one -on -one for Sterling Shepard, and he is able to make the catch in the first down. Second and eight, we got an eye formation, two wide receivers set left, and this is going to be a little pitch out and a little sweep, and able to keep the wide receiver over to the right side. It's going to be Sterling Shepard getting the first cornerback, little Wide receiver screen left for Sterling Shepard. Able to get past one defender, getting the first down. It is going to be a balanced two tight end set ace formation as Daniel Jones looks at the defense. Got two high safeties, and it's going to be a little stretch play to the right side. Bounce off of one defender and getting six yards on the play. Stretch, no fake, RPO, and that is going to be Darius Slayton, who is not going to be stopped into the end zone. Touchdown. Giants, what an amazing play by Darius Slayton, who was strong against the defender, pulls him off, gets the other defender, and says, hey, why don't you look at what the end zone looks like? Touchdown, and the two-point conversion is good, giving this Giants team a seven-point lead. A little empty back set over to the left side, scrambling out, going through the middle, and what an amazing play on the run. Left side, across the body, down the middle. A.J. Green helping the quarterback out and getting a reception. But on second and 11, over to the left side now. And that is going to be uh, Uz Uzuma once again for another reception. Third and eight. And that is going to be a little back out. And again, look at him running on the throw. Able to get it off and able to get better field position for his defense. He is playing like a veteran quarterback would. 
over to the left side and that is going to be just an immediately hit and stop for a two yard gain. A little back out, three step drop over the middle, one on one coverage against the safety, nothing doing. You might have to double this tight end and Evan Ingram making them pay. A little pump action, draw play, and that's going to be Saquon up to the third level and down for the final play of the third quarter. Let's see if this defense, or this, excuse me, let's see if this offense can finish off strong as a little play action over to the left side, and that's going to be Evan Ingram once again. Are you tired of saying it? Because we're not up here in the booth. We are happy that he is eating, and he is eating all day. A little drag route over to the right side is going to be Golden Tate. Golden Tate, Darius Slayton, Sterling Shepard, and Evan Ingram are all eating all day. A little play action right over the middle. Once again, eat you some more. Get you some cookies. Actually, you know what? Take your seat, son, because you have been playing your tail off all day. Take a nice needed break. We might get you another touchdown today. Over to the right side, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Dontrell Emmon, who is going to make the catch and get six yards on the play. Burrow rose, rolls to his left, hits his tight end to the left, and that's going to be Uzuma, who has gotten another reception on the day. Defense is looking like they don't know what they're doing out here. A little blitz action, but picked up, and it is going to be Uzuma again with a nine-yard reception. Having a great day. Sneaky, not as good as Evan Ingram, but again, not playing comparison as, oh my goodness, Leonard Williams, who has had a rejuvenated career here in New York, and he coming from the Jets to the Giants, and now what an amazing play in the backfield, one-on-one -on -one coverage, making the stop, but not able to get the pick. Fourth and eight over the middle, Uzuma coming across, or excuse me, that is going to be Tyler Boyd coming across and getting the first down. Little bunch set, shotgun set over to the right side, and right behind Jordan Love or Julian Love is going to be Tyler Boyd again. And this is going to be a quick three step drop. Oh my goodness, too quick. If you blink, you wouldn't have got it. But Blake Martinez, another interception on the year. A little run and play now. We got one on one, and that is going to be a dumb play as the defense picks it up. And that is going to be a touchdown, Bengals. What? was daniel jones thinking you got to protect the ball and i don't think we'll be seeing that play once again today little oh play action over to the right side a little screen smoke screen jailbreak screen and that is going to be darius slayton with another reception and five yard gain empty back set over to the left side over there and that's going to be the drag route all day every day for evan ingram and you would think that this defense was smarting up just a little bit I formation, a little sweep now. And it's almost like what Joe Burrow ran at LSU, the little quick pitch, and then let the running back do what they want. But on third and nine, we're trying to get this reception. We're trying to get this conversion. And left side, post route, left slide, flag route. And Golden Tate is going to make them pay. A little handoff now for Saquon. Let Saquon eat. A little Saquon do some quad action here. And this is I formation as the clock is running a little left side oh burrow through them <laughs> you see what i did there but no big bully say quad is going to make them pay as third and three comes up and they finally make a stop behind the line of scrimmage a two-yard loss third and five play action now and we just saw this play earlier you have to wonder what they were thinking but cannons are coming out for a 26 yarder to give them a two score lead See him think his thought process, not overthinking it, but not underthinking it this side. And now Lawson is going to go down with an injury. Second and 10, a little bunch set, shotgun formation, a 3-4 defense to offset him. And it looks like they are going to be left side, right side, left side again. And it's going to be a reception for five yards. They take another look at it, and then you can see over to the left side, as Joe Mixon had the catch, he was going out of bounds. Are they going to let him have it? They are not, and it's going to be overturned for third and ten. Shotgun set, tight end set to the right side, over the middle, making them pay. Dontrell Emmon, who I don't know how or what kind of coverage was that, but he got past the defender and able to make them pay. Joe makes an offset to the right side. It looks like a screen set up, and Marcus Golden not able to catch it, and James Bradbury unable to get him down. 
and they are moving with it under a minute. Now, they are two scores up, but that doesn't mean that they have the game in. Is 35 seconds left as Joe Burrow is making them pay, but this quick sack on the Marcus Golden over to the right side. Joe Burrow is hurting his defense up, and it's over to the middle, and that is going to be one-on-one -on -one as Uzuma gets into the end zone. It is a touchdown, and it is now a three- or four-point game. It's a fifth reception touchdown this year for Uzuma, and this is, might give them the opportunity to tie it up with only 10 seconds left to go. They have to go for the onside, which they are unable to get. And this is going to be the victory formation. What a game. Not sure if the Giants intended it to be this rough, but as you can see for the post-game stats, 258 through the air, 100 on the ground, two takeaways, whereas Joe Burrow made them pay with 336 yards through the air. I am not taking anything away from Joe Burrow. That was an amazing game for him. But let's look at the stats for the Giants. Daniel Jones, a quarterback rating of 114, 24-33, 269 through the air, 72 completion rate, three touchdowns, one interception. Saquon Barkley on the day, 102 yards, 24 carries, 4.2 average, and a one TD. Daniel Jones had the one fumble. <laughs> what an inopportune time that allowed them almost back into the game. And Golden Tate, a little pitch pass. And this is going to be Evan Ingram, 9 of 119, one total touchdown. you think that he was there all day, every day. Golden Tate, 8 of 76. Sterling Shepard, 4 of 44 with one touchdown. Darius Slayton, the little slant route, 2 of 19, but again, making his impact with one touchdown. All right, let's look over at the defense. Jabril Peppers leading the day with seven tackles. McKinney and Haley, both with five. Bradbury and Martinez with four. Carter and Lawrence with one tackle for a loss, two sacks by Golden, one from Williams, Frackle, Haley, Peppers, and Julian Love, which gives them, I think, six total. Interceptions were uh, two, I believe, and that is going to be a fumble recovery by no one because no one got the forced fumble. Cannizzaro was able to be perfect on the day, one of one for 26. Joe Burrow, 30 of 38, 388 yards through the air, three touchdowns, and one interception, playing like he is not a rookie, playing like he's almost been like 20 seasons in the NFL. Don't tempt me. I know Tom Brady has been there, done that. CJ Uzuma, who's got nine catches, 72, which, again, comparing the tight ends today, they had an amazing game on both sides. Dontrell Emmon able to go over the 100-yard mark with 7 of 102 with one touchdown. Boyd had a sneaky game, 5 of 62. A.J. Green, 5 of 117, with most of that coming on the one play of 65 yards where he burnt DeAndre Baker. Looking at the defensive side, Sean Williams with 10 tackles, Logan Wilson and Mackenzie Alexander each with 8, Trey Waynes with 7, and then Von Bell with 6 total tackles. Tackles for a loss, Carlos Dunlap, William Jackson the third. Sacks, you got Dunlap and Williams, each with one. Interceptions, you have Williams with one. Pass defense. Again, Bengals were sneakily underrated this year so far. I was not expecting that from the team. But with that said, guys, that is it for this week. Week 12 underway, 31-28 to 28 victory. We have gotten the season going. We have gotten the win streak continuing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Comment if you want. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to have a great day, great week, great month, great year. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.